dream for you. Let me oh, share God, with just you. Just get on with it. Oh, what? The first image I saw this is different. was that of a bone. Okay. I heard in my dreams the words, bring me to life. Now, let us see what the cards will say of this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's, I think. Somehow, I do not think this is a premonition. Although it fits the situation. Mm, no, no, no. I think this is a place. A tomb or cenotaph. Now, what more can we learn? Is she telling me maybe the locations of the rituals? Of all the cards. Yeah. This is the most watery. Okay. The tomb lies in or near some water. The lake, perhaps. No, no. Rather, I believe this is the swamp. Uh. Somewhere in the swamp lies a tomb. And somewhere at that tomb is a piece of the puzzle that explains or deals with the image of the bone. Okay, so this entire reading is telling me where all the rituals are. You already have the answer to that problem. Exactly. So, perhaps you know more of this than I. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just sense that I have all the rest of the rituals and skip the rest of it? Oh, in my dream, I see... Alright, let's fast forward this a little bit. There, oh, blood card. The next image I saw in my dream was the... The tower. Oh, this is always an ill omen. The dark one. The building is dedicated to the dark one itself. Oh, however, <laughs> I sense that you already contain that piece. I'm kind of curious what she would say now if I didn't have the rituals. In the dream, I seem to get colder. I don't think these are real tarot cards at all. For me was the image of breath. Ah, this one is not a place. No, I believe this is the woman from your past. That's Baba Yaga. But you have already dealt with her. Okay. Then, in my dream, I felt myself blown along. Oh, that must be vision. Then I saw the symbol of the senses. Another place of darkness. Some building. Or I guess this is like the little tower in the, in the goo. I don't know what the heck that is. The Six of Swords? Oh, this is a sign of travel. This is also the sign of the gypsies. We have no buildings, particularly ones cursed by the darkness. I, I, I don't understand this. Let me discuss this subject with the others of my tribe. Perhaps we may yet make sense. Huh, I wonder what that does mean. Is that one I don't have? To return a faraway to building. I soon could hear a Maybe that's the one that Katrina already has? I found my sweat forward, deeper, deeper. Oh, it's pretty. There before me was the symbol of the heart. This is an inverted queen of rods. A jealous and deceitful woman. Ah, uh, that must be the one Katrina has, though. This woman also has magic. But the magician card is inverted. That implies that she is one who is willing to use her skills for bad purposes. I can oh, tell uh, that well, I guess not. Okay. Puzzle has... What else you got for me? Oh, again, again. The dream filled me. Does she keep a dream journal? How does she remember all this so vividly? I can't remember my dreams ten seconds after I wake up. I saw before me this symbol and heard the voice the man give me life. Ah, let us see where the last part of the puzzle Oh, lies. okay. What, is this something I do not have? The Hierophant. Ah, the sign of a spiritual leader. This person is one who serves another willingly. There are many possible interpretations here. Alright. The, the Dark One. Oh, this is a priest of the Dark One. Yet, remember, nothing serves the Dark One and remains unchanged. The one who has what you seek is of the Dark One now. Deal with him. Oh, this I have not met yet. Interesting. 
These left cards will reveal the point of all these visions. Oh, a point? You had one of those? Excellent. Oh, good. Of course. You you look you act surprised. The Lady of Power and Magic. Katrina. Okay. The Dark One is the ultimate source of all the problems here, yes. It drew those with ties to dark magic and those with ties to good. It is a thing not of this world, yet linked to it. My people tell tales of the battle against it. The stories tell of how the mage Yerana held off the Dark One and sent it back. How she died in that battle, and the darkness was banished forever. These were just children's stories told to drive off the terrors of the night. What truly happened in that battle, we do not know. It is clear that the battle never ended, and the darkness still draws allies to its side. Just as you were drawn here as a pawn in this war, for whose side are you working, huh? It seems that both the Dark One and the Magician Irana are using you. How this will end, the cards cannot foresee. The agents of darkness will continue to influence your actions in this matter. For now, I think this serves the purposes of both sides, right? <laughs> the visions are clear. You will need to walk to the very center of darkness. The battle is stalemate, and only you can determine the winner. Only by turning the war to the Dark One, releasing it, can you free the magician Irana. Unless you do both, you do neither. We gypsies do not speak the names of those with power unless we must. Now I sense that such a time has come. You will know the Dark One by its name, but use it only where you must. The Dark One is called Avuzel. Ah. Leave now, and we will speak no more on this subject. Except for the gypsy card and the dark building. I am an old wolf, and I cannot stand such a dream as that last night. It would kill me to face it again. Lordy, that's a lot of information. That is all the cards can reveal. It took all my power to read this. May it serve you well. Okay, God. All right, exposition dump. So, essentially, she told us where all the rituals were, though we have the most already, except for maybe one or two, but I think Katrina has one, and then some priest has the other one. And that we have to end this eternal stalemate. We have to free both parties, and then we can choose the victor. Well, that means helping both the Dark One and Irana at the same time. That's, that sounds risky. Oh, I can talk about the Gias. Oh, please, let's... Tell about Adavis, Katrina, and the Gears. So, that is what the reading was about. Ah, things are building to a climax, and you are the center of it all. Oh, that you live to tell such a tale. This is why you were summoned here, or else we would be hanging garlands of garlic to keep you at bay. You tell about the news, what? Uh, oh, okay, bug, okay. It's, uh, too bad I didn't actually read that, but all right, whatever. Wow, all right, there's a lot we can still talk about. Well, let's get it all out of the way. Davy has nothing to say as usual. I don't even know why he's even here. Irana! The magician Irana faced the Dark One at the time of the summoning and prevented it from entering this world. She was trapped by it as well. You have her staff and destiny has chosen you to aid her. But to free Irana, you must first free the Dark One. All right, that sounds risky, but I guess Irana is the only one who can actually banish him for good, so end the stalemate so she can finish this properly. 
The last boyer was known to be a worshipper of... Oh, the oh, here we go. Actually, he was high, high priest. priest. This is the one who has the last ritual I need. During the time of the vanished. Story. Not good. I believe he is the meaning of the Hierophant's card. If the boyer is still alive after all this time, he must be trapped in the Dark One's cave. I shudder to think how he has managed to survive, or what he must... Sounds like a boss battle. Oh boy, I don't like any of this gypsy card. I have a feeling I... Oh, Davy chimes in. Hi. I am not as mystical as Magda, but I am certain as to the meaning of the tower and gypsy Please, cards. enlighten. I heard a gypsy story once about Mordavia. It seemed pointless, and yet it was told. I shall tell it to you. Please. Once long ago, a gypsy was hunting. This was a time when the pass to Mordavia was open, and the Borgov still ruled as boyars in the castle. This gypsy saw men walking and chanting through the forest at night. He recognized the leader as the boyar. I'm sorry, now that I know this voice belongs to Cam Robinson, all I can see in my head is Leonardo the, the Mutant Ninja Turtle telling me this story. Marked. One of the men held up a strange light. It was a will-o'-wisp trapped in a bottle. The standing stone started to glow, and runes appeared on Gotcha, the okay. The boyar touched a metal disc to the stone pillar. All right, so we know all that, because we already have that ritual, but now it's good to know that there's we know the meaning behind it. Yes, it is to the rituals that the cards referred. Five you can find in Mordavia. Oh, and one more is hidden within the Dark One's cave. All right, that's the one the priest has. That leaves only the ritual for the opening of the mouth, and I believe your Katrina must have that one already. How else could you have escaped the cave when first you came here, huh? <laughs> Piece that together. Yeah, that yeah, you're so clever. Thank you so much. All right, let's ask one last question about the dark one, and then we're on our way. Now we shall speak openly of an enemy which seeks to make all of us its pawns. It is a thing of dark magic. It is not of this world, but it seeks constantly to enter here. It feeds upon all living things and surrounds itself with darkness. Weak-minded fools worship it, since it promises its followers their every dream. Powerful fools seek to control it, but it too is powerful. Too powerful for anyone to control. Many years ago, a cult tried to summon the Dark One in Mordavia. They would have succeeded, but for a handful of brave men and the magician Irana. You see, it was not entirely driven back to its own world. Dark magic has leaked from the Dark One's cave, perverting this land and twisting the living things here. So, now again, the Dark One seeks to enter this world. Well, this time, you are to be the opener of the way. Everyone else is just a pawn. At least I'm not the pawn this time. Like the last couple of games. Because of her, you will unleash the darkness. So let us pray that you can banish it as well. Um... About that whole banishing part, not 100% sure. Uh, bye! You say goodbye. For the last time. I wish you well upon your travels. Saya! Saya! All right, well, I'm kind of disappointed that her last words to us were not in her own voice, but there you go. What else are you going to do? Oh, God. All right, thanks for sitting through me for, with that little piece of exposition. That took a while, but it was good flavor. I don't think that's stuff I've ever heard before. I played this game a million times. I don't think I ever got that final reading. Oh, and it's daytime, so I can't even go to the castle. So we'll go to town. Wait, I know what we're going to do. We're going to fight this Nekatar is what I'm going to do. Ah! Score. All right. Yep, I think we've got everything we need. So let's head back to town. Let's rest until nighttime. And thus begins end game. All right, now that we're here, people keep mentioning it. It might be too late, but 
Apparently there's a rubber chicken in the gnome's room, but I think he's already gone. There is no response to your knock. When you open the door, you find that the room has been cleaned out completely. Well, I guess I missed my chance on that one, but what am I going to use a rubber chicken for anyway? I ask you. You unlock the door. All right, this might be my last time sleeping in this room, so let's make sure I have everything. Is there anything else I need? Just corn. Gotta take the blackbird with me, of course. And I also have like 11 of these flasks, so I'm putting all of those in here, because I don't That's think I need put one. Oh, put God, I have to do that how many times? Oh, God damn it. You put one into the chest. At least that time when he says it, it doesn't sound as it's like, you put it in the chest. Ugh. You put one into the chest. God, John just sounds so pissed off to be there. You put one into the chest. You put... All right. Can I even sleep till the evening? Is that a thing? Not really. Okay, now that we've had our rest, I think there is still one more person that we want to say hello to. Because, well, no. First, let's grab some breakfast. This is important. We have a lot of work to do today, most likely tonight, and he's going to do his little skippy sneak dance. It's sausage and peppers fried with garlic. Let's see if they have anything else to say. I don't see Bella around, not Bella, uh, Tanya, around anywhere. Nope, I don't think there's anything new to see here, so off we go. Goodbye, and most likely goodbye forever. Yuri and Bella, oh, Dimitri. One thing you can say about Mordavia is that it is never dull. Be careful out there. Oh, Dimitri, I'm gonna miss you, man. Olga, are you in there? Of course you're in there. You never move. Have you finished crocheting that blanket yet? More missing people. You are way behind the times, my friend, for being the one who's supposed to be up on the gossip in this town. Nope. All right, anyway, I want to go say hi to the chief thief. Because I think I might be carrying around some stuff unnecessarily that I can get rid of with the monies. I'm really not well rested. I don't think I think I forgot to rest completely. Oh well, I'll rest when I'm here. All right. Hi, Chief Thief. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take a nap on your cobblestones uh. if that's cool. Uh. Good enough. All right. Is there anything I can sell to him? I got all these jewels. Here, take these. That didn't do- That did- That- Doesn't he fence my stuff? Uh... Nope. I guess not. He doesn't have anything new to say. Well, you've been a joy. Thanks, man. Bye. Can I get behind you? Can I- Can I leave? There we go. Well, I literally have nothing to do until... Sunset, unless I can just like walk over to the castle in the daytime. Let's see if I can do that. I don't think I can. Because they're vampires, they're sleeping. Who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna let me in? Bruno? Oh, the door is open. Okay. Did they fire Boris? What happened? Okay, well, up to Mount Doom, I suppose. Oh, I gotta walk the whole way? Alright, fine. Oh, there they are, and it's nighttime. That's a long walk. Oh, what a good boy you are. You would never do anything to hurt me, would you? Unlike some others I could name. Are you talking about me or Vis? So, you have returned with the rituals. Good. Very good. We will journey at once to the Dark One's cave. Soon, it will be forever night, and I shall never be at anyone's mercy again! You can really easily solve this problem with a lock on your freaking coffin. Leave it be. Ya Avuzel! Hear me, great Dark One! Open thy mouth that we may enter! Open thy mouth that will swallow us all! Open thy mouth of darkness! Ya Avuzel! My name is Avuzel, and I'm a peanut. Wait. Okay, this apparently is my line. This is all I can- wait. No, this is her line. This is all I can do for you, sneaky feet. You would have to perform the other rituals yourself. Okay. That's we- uh We will be watching you. 
so do not even think of trying to betray us. Well, I'm going to be locked inside of a death creature. with the high priest. You will need to take it before you begin the other rituals. This. Be careful. What? Okay, lady. Yes. We would hate for anything. You, unpleasant. lady, you have got to be a little bit more consistent with your Enter feelings now. towards me. And good luck. Do you hate me or do you love me? Do you want to kill me or do you want to brainwash me or do you want me to marry you? Please, I can't. I okay. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome back. No way. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to watch a little bit more Quest for Glory stuff. You just click right there on good old Morticia Adams. And if you want to watch some other stuff that I've done, click on Holy Gomez. If you want to support me, please hit that little subscribe button up there. It really helps. There you go. Choose one, baby. I've never lit these. They're works of art. You don't burn art. Sometimes.